Uh, good afternoon, my name is Geraint Evans. I'm a senior lecturer at the University uh, of South Wales and I'm responsible for running the MSc uh, courses in accounting, forensic uh, audit and accounting. To my left here is my colleague Louise Miles. Yeah, my name is Louise, as Geraint said. Um, I'm a lecturer in accounting and finance and I'm also the course leader for the BSc Finance Investment Top Up. And the University uh, of South Wales has been uh, in existence for three years now as such. We merged uh, as such. We are the largest university in Wales, the 10th largest uh, in the UK, with over 30,000 students. Uh, we've also been voted uh, one of the top 10 universities by uni students uh, for uh, students to study here. So. Okay, so what we thought we'd do um, to start off with is give you uh, an insight into what university life is like here. Um, we're filming from the True Forest campus today and uh, we, we're actually enjoying some really nice weather which is uh, quite unusual for us because it's, it's the winter months here. Um, but we're, it's a rather large campus and um, we've got a lot of facilities here for students. Um, Namely, uh, we have some great sports facilities. We have a very active students' union building here and, uh, with lots of activities that you can get involved in. Um, we have uh, a, a really large library um, with some good study facilities there and good access to um, all the books and journals that you uh, would be requiring if you were to study here with us. And one positive about the library, it, it doesn't close. It's actually open 24 hours yeah, a day, it's um, open 365 days a year. So. It is, yeah. It's, um, it, I think the, it might close just over some of the, the holiday periods, but for most of the year, yes, it is open 24 mm -hmm. hours a day. Um, so, you know, during assessment times, you will find students there um, working at all hours. Um, and as Louise mentioned, uh, the, the campus, this is the largest campus uh, in Treforest. We've roughly got about 15,000 students uh, on this campus, yeah. uh, with about 1,500 staff. Uh, we, this is one of actually eight campuses, uh, probably dotted around a 20 mile radius. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. three campuses in Cardiff, two in uh, Newport, and actually three in this, this Treforest yeah. area. So, uh, so this campus that Louise and myself uh, work out of is where we're the accounting undergrad and postgrad courses uh, are mm. taught. So yeah. um, uh, students start in September, uh, are we also recruit in February on certain undergrad mm. and, uh, and postgrad uh, degrees, yeah. but the majority of students actually come in September, the end of September, uh, with the teaching starts then around the end of September mm. to October. Yeah. October. So what, what we thought we'd do is if I talk briefly about what I do here and then Darren, um, uh, talk about what he does. Um, I mainly cover, um, my teaching covers the undergraduate courses, so either the um, BA Accounting and Finance, BA Forensic Accounting um, courses, and um, Geraint covers really a lot of the courses on the Master's programme, don't you? Yes, I, I do teach on the undergrad programmes as well as the Master programmes, because um, uh, I actually teach at two campuses at the moment. I teach yeah, predominantly yeah. on this yeah. campus uh, and also on our Cardio yeah. campus, uh, where we, yeah. we teach uh, certain professional accountancy courses, which Louise will, will mention a bit later, because one of the benefits of doing an accounting degree undergrad uh, at South Wales yeah. is you get the maximum exemptions from the Chartered yeah. Accountancy Bodies in the yeah. UK. Yeah, so we'll, the, the three um, main bodies that you get exemptions from are ACCA. Um, it depends which course you take, of course, um, and what options you take for one of the courses, but um, maximum up to maximum exemptions for ACCA, so that would be nine exemptions, um, ICAW up to eight exemptions. And CIMA, I think it's seven exemptions, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so, seven. Uh, that uh, the, uh, the, the two accounting degrees we predominantly do, uh, forensic uh, accounting and uh, accounting finance, are very similar apart from yeah. the third year. Yeah. So a common first year, slightly different second year, but then uh, the options in the third year differentiate between doing accounting and finance or, or mm. forensic accounting. So yeah. that, uh, as I said, I, I'm responsible for running the, uh, the MSCs uh, in accounting. We actually run two MSCs, in, uh, one an MSC in accounting, one forensic audit in accounting. And uh, they've been running now for, for many years here. Um, predominantly international students uh, tend to do them. Uh, uh, slightly different to the undergrad degree because uh, they do two modules at a time taught in intense blocks then. Mm. So they study eight weeks at a time, two modules, uh, either from September uh, to May. 
uh, or from February um, uh, till December, January then, and then they would do their dissertations as such. So, uh, but uh, mm. uh, the MSCs uh, don't actually get any exemptions from the professional bodies because most of our MSCs now are, are assessed by um, assignment rather than examination as such, which is yeah. slightly different to the undergraduate, yeah. which is uh, highly focused on examinations, which the chartered council bodies uh, prefer. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, the well, the uh, undergraduate degree programmes, the BA Accounting and Finance and Forensic Accounting, um, they follow a common year one programme. Um, many of our students are not sure at the beginning before they apply which to go for, um, but we do actually allow students to change after the, or at the end of year one um, from one course to the other because mm. they follow this common year one programme. Mm. Um, but both are very interesting and um, I teach on both courses, like I said earlier on. Um, I teach on the management accounting module, the audit and assurance module, and the business analysis for accountants mm. module. So um, yeah, I, I really follow the students mm. from year one to year mm. three. Um, as my role as course leader for BSE Finance and Investment, um, we well, we offer a lot of support for students, and um, one of those things is to um, place a course leader for each course. So, regardless of which course you're on, you would have a course leader who would be there really to make sure you're okay. Um, right, right throughout your study time of study here, um, the course leader would also arrange for um, an induction program which would take place in the first week that you were actually studying with us mm. and um, during that week we do a lot of activities we give a lot of information um, we allow students to um, you know spend time getting to know other students we do a lot of activities mm. in terms of teamwork and stuff like that so really just to um, get students settled into the university and um, you know feel at home and then prepare ready for the first week of teaching. I think we've got a question. I think there's a good luck. I think uh, one student here was inquiring about studying forensic uh, audit and accounting. The other batch of honours to be in accounting. So it looks as if they are uh, interested in the uh, MSc session. And how okay. will I be accommodated? I'm not sure what you mean by the accommodation or, or the studying. Uh, as far as accommodation is concerned, uh, we have a very large um, student accommodation on campus, on this Trafalgar's campus, but some students also uh, take private accommodation uh, yeah. outside um, in mm. houses with, uh, with external private landlords mm. as such. Uh, the accommodation is state of the art uh, in the university um, halls of residence. They were refurbished several years ago. Um, communal kitchen mm. with six, I think, mm. each room has their own um, private bathroom, mm. shower, etc., en suite, uh, Wi Fi available. Mm. So, uh, um, and 24 7 uh, security on campus oh, and um, yeah. the warden. Yeah. But as far as the, when you talk about accommodation, if you did study a, a forensic audit and accounting year, if you started uh, in February or, or September, uh, you would roughly be in about 12, 14 hours a week uh, studying two models every uh, eight weeks. So you'd have to do six uh, taught models uh, over the academic year and then, then the dissertation. So, I hope mm -hmm. that answers your question. Yeah. Um, and yeah. just as a, uh, whilst that, um, we're on the subject, the um, advice zone do actually help st students to um, find accommodation as well. So they, right. they are there as a <coughs> support system to help new students mm. in that area. Yeah. So, uh, um, and then they're talking, is there a benefit of doing it? Well, um, the MSc Forensic uh, Audit and Accounting we do uh, at the University of South Wales. I mean, one or two universities actually in the UK that offers a, a Forensic Audit and Accounting uh, Bachelor's or Master's, that's in yeah. Sheffield, I believe. So, okay. uh, uh, so it does differentiate then between yeah. just having a, a, an accounting degree or, yeah. or Forensic Audit uh, and Accounting. So I've uh, uh, got another question here. Uh, about job placements for students doing forensic or in accounting to get hands. Like to answer that, Louise, job placements, I'm assuming that's undergrad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, we have a number of options um, available to students and we do encourage um, all students, you know, in terms of uh, getting work placements whilst they're studying with us. Um, the two programmes, the BA Accountant and Finance and BA Forensic Accounting, actually um, has an employability module um, as part of the course 
And one of the things that they that students will do as part of that module is to complete 70 hours work experience. Okay, and currently that uh, module is um, placed on year two of the study. So every student will have that opportunity. Um, but also, if there's there's an extra two options, um, number one is to take a three month placement. So that's something that you could complete over the summer period in between uh, study years. And the third option is actually, or second option rather, is um, to opt for a sandwich degree programme, in which case you would take um, a 12 month work placement during or between years two and years three. Um, some students are not sure whether they want to take a sandwich placement before or when they're applying for their course. Um, and this is something that you can actually make a final decision on at the end of your year two period. So if you feel, yes, you want to take a placement, then you just inform the university and we obviously put that in place in, in terms of allowing that um, 12 month placement to happen. Then the student, um, we work with the student to actually go and find that placement. Um, or if you've actually applied for a sandwich degree and then you decide, um, actually I don't want to do that, I just want to take, you know, continue my studies and finish within three years, then you can actually opt for that as well. Yeah, and the important thing is when you take the year on placement, you will actually get paid for it. So yeah, for the 12-month placements yeah. usually yeah. are paid, yes. And, and that also counts uh, if you want to go on and be an accountant mm. then, uh, you need three years of practical experience to call yourself a, a qualified accountant. Yeah. That year up actually counts as oh, well yeah. in the three years. Yeah, so really so good, there is a benefit. And yeah. We do find the majority of students that take a sandwich uh, year out normally come back and graduate with the better classification yeah, of honours. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they bring and, all their experience yeah. back and it does really um, help with their studies yeah. in year three. Yeah. And, and hopefully if they've done a good job, maybe an opportunity on graduation to yeah. actually go in. Yeah, work many, that many of our students yeah. have have actually gone so back to yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's, it's inc we do encourage students actually to do the sandwich to be mm. uh, uh, a lot of benefits uh, to yeah. it so uh, but um and then that's true both our undergrad degrees uh, accounting or uh, forensic uh, accounting is a, mm. a four-year sandwich or three yes. year, yeah full-time so uh, the majority of students tend to do the, the three-year full-time but uh, there is the option mm. as i said that we, yeah from the four-year sandwich and, uh, and that's not just in Wales because we have uh, uh, career opportunities to go work anywhere in the UK mm. and actually overseas and yeah. so uh, you know I've been one or two students who actually gone to the States and worked uh, mm. so, uh, for Google I believe. And, uh, which, uh, yeah. Interesting. So, uh, and, and, and quite big blue chip companies etc. Mm. So uh, Rolls Royce, um, General mm. Electric, mm. British Airways, yeah. to name but a few and that uh, yeah. your students have gone on placement. I have another question here now. What are the techniques used for the various models in forensic uh, or group work sessions interactive? Uh, I don't know if you are talking here about the undergrad or postgrad, but um, a lot of our students now they, they taught uh, either in workshops, uh, lectures, uh, tutorials, but uh, as far as the forensic uh, is concerned, there is hands on uh, mm -hmm. sessions as such. The, uh, uh, one of the models they do, uh, where they actually go around the um, the university in their uh, suits, don't they? They suit them up in their <laughs> white suits, looking yeah. for, for for evidence as such and, yeah. uh, uh, to yeah. present. So, uh, yeah. so it is a lot of uh, practical, uh, yeah. hands-on experience yeah. as, uh, as well as uh, theoretical uh, uh, in the such. So, uh, yeah. obviously, forensic accounting is a is a specialised area, and, and the staff uh, who actually teach on that uh, are experts, I suppose, in, yeah. in that field. And so. But, um, uh, really, with, with the accountant and finance degree, there's, there's obviously uh, there, there, would it be a I think there's a forensic option to finally is it they want to do it the the, mm -hmm. the core models wouldn't yeah. have any forensic uh, accounting or audit mm -hmm. but but obviously the forensic uh, yeah, undergrad degree in yeah. Yeah. so uh, uh, as far as group work is concerned, do they actually do group work or is individually assessed? On the yeah, I think well a lot of the um, modules are workshop based. Right. Um, so they would get uh, the opportunity to work in groups and teams. But the, but the overall assessment would be individually or is there any group assessments? Um, I would imagine that they are actually individuals, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, 
Uh, I, I know uh, on, on the master's program, I had some uh, some students, uh, it was IMSC accounting, uh, they actually did a group uh, presentation as mm. such, and uh, they, uh, they did a lot of background research into it, given several companies to research. Mm. So so we do encourage group work, uh, but oh, we, yeah. we tend to assess predominantly more on an individual basis than, mm. uh, uh, than, than group basis. But, uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, when you go and work, uh, you'll be working in groups, won't you? So, mm. so group work is, uh, yeah, is important. Yeah, yeah. Well, we do um, try to incorporate a lot of, uh, you know, academic skills mm. and professional skills in mm. all the modules mm. that we teach on as well. Mm. But the, the teaching techniques we use, uh, it could be a mixture of as said, lectures, tutorials or workshops. Yes. Some of the modules, there will be lectures where uh, all the students will be together and that could be as many as 70, 80 students mm. in a lecture theatre and then we tend to break them down into three or four groups and smaller groups, mm. we've got 20 in a group for, for workshops, yeah. uh, tutorials and such and yeah. uh, where you'll do the practical examples and such. Yeah. So lecture you'll be taught to say 50 minutes on, uh, mm. on a particular process or technique in, in accounting or audit etc and then uh, in the uh, workshops, tutorials, mm. that's when you do the, the practical um, yeah. uh, hands-on experience. We've got another question here now about uh, the application process. The application process today is all done online. So, yeah. uh, so if you've logged on to our uh, website, uh, southwales.ac.uk, uh, you can actually apply there online. Mm. Uh, Fees-wise, the fees are actually on the website and all, and obviously the fees vary whether you be a EU student, mm. non-EU student, etc. Mm. <coughs> uh, scholarships, there are scholarships, I don't know if you want to... Yeah. Talk a bit about that, yeah, there's um, when you apply for um, a course, it depends. There, there's so many different, um, or there are a few different scholarships that, that are available. And um, when you apply, you'll be automatically considered for a scholarship if you are eligible. So, when you receive your offer letter, um, the details of any uh, a scholarship that you are entitled to would be detailed on that letter. Yeah. But again, if you go onto the website, there's uh, an option to apply online and there's also some guidance about uh, which method of application you would um, complete. Uh, so it could be the direct application or an application through UCAS, uh, depending on whether you're a UK U student or outside of those areas. And also dependent on whether you were um, applying for a, a part-time course, a postgraduate course, undergraduate um, mm. or professional course. Yeah, and then the application form then is, is passed on to the academic team to look at it to yeah. see if you meet the criteria obviously then to, uh, to have a, yeah, an offer then to come onto yeah. the uh, yeah. uh, the program as such. Uh, UCAS application is only applicable to undergrad, uh, postgrad application just can say completed online uh, that'll be passed then to an academic member staff and he or she then will make a decision mm. about, uh, but you meet the, uh, the criteria to come on to yeah. the, uh, the course. Um, by the way, we, we will be posting all the in, uh, important information in terms of um, you know links and uh, contact email addresses at the end of the session. Okay, so just to let you know that. Yeah, no, it's, it's quite a straightforward application process. Yeah. As I said, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the, the link is online. If you click on the link, uh, application electronic application and mm -hmm. comes up as such and it's quite straightforward mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. complete then and, uh, uh, and and submit the search so uh, and uh, you know it, it's uh, straight away you'll get confirmation we receive your application and then it's processed then in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the right channels so as I said the fees also are available online mm -hmm. and uh, obviously different fee bands depending on, on where you live uh, etc. So, uh, Do we have another question? No, no more questions so far. And uh, it, um, I, I guess, suppose I could talk a little bit about our, our postgrad uh, accounting programs then. So, uh, uh, <coughs> what you actually do on our MSc accounting or MSc forensic or accounting, you would do six taught modules uh, every eight weeks. So, every so six taught modules over the year. So, every eight weeks, you'll be doing two modules as such. So, it's just quite intense. You'd be in about 12, 14 hours a, a week, and uh, and they are assessed then by a mixture of uh, predominantly coursework with maybe one or two uh, uh, tests or exams as such. So, uh, that, uh, but quite large coursework as such, five, six thousand words, so a lot of research to, uh, involved there. Uh, 
and then the uh, the dissertation at the end. So, so six top models on, on all our masters, uh, accounting, or forensic audit, and company dissertation, which is different than uh, to the undergrad degree because the undergrad degree we would do six top models every year, mm. three years, so, so 18 uh, models over the three years, predominantly assessed by examinations rather mm. than, 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 than coursework. Mm. And uh, the reason or the emphasis for examinations at undergrad level is because uh, our undergrad degrees are linked quite closely to the chartered accountancy bodies mm. in the UK, uh, which uh, insist on a high volume ratio of exams and mm. uh, to course yeah, work okay. so uh, uh, there's in the first year i think there's about three four exams they do uh, the six yeah. modules and uh, in the second year practically every model mm. is assessed then by uh, yeah. by exam and then in the final year it will depend then on what options you take mm. whether uh, right. it's an exam or, yeah. or coursework so uh, the emphasis as we said on exams mm. at the end of that yeah. year that's part of um our um, employability module um, so that would be on the BA accounting and finance and the BA forensic accounting courses um, we actually uh, run a SAGE module so SAGE is um, widely used accounting and uh, software, software program yeah and um, so as part of that course you would actually complete a SAGE qualification so obviously you need to, to pass um, the SAGE qualification to get the certificate um, but it gives you a really good um, practical experience of all the software that is used out in the industry mm -hmm. um, it's also really good to put on your CV as well so that's just incorporated into the course and it's actually um, part of our sort of commitment to um, making sure that students um, have a really good chance of being employed mm -hmm. at the end of the course mm -hmm. after the mm -hmm. end of the study with us Another question here yeah, for BA Accounting and Finance about work experience again. So, uh, as Louise mentioned earlier, our Accounting Finance degree could be three years full time or, or a four year sandwich. So, so the four year sandwich between years two and three, uh, you would take work experience and placement where we would yeah. help you yeah, uh, to get a placement. Then, and the placement, as I said, doesn't have to be in the UK, it could be yeah. uh, predominantly in the UK, but it doesn't have to be uh, with a lot of uh, major blue chip companies. So. Uh, uh, Louise also talked a bit earlier on about uh, an employability model. Mm. Do you want to explain that again? And, um... Yeah, so um, apart from the the work experience that you might, you know, that you would gain um, on a sandwich uh, degree, you could have opt for a three month placement which you could complete over the summer. Um, if neither of those appeal to you for whatever reason, then you would still get some. A work experience as part of one of the modules that you would take mm -hmm. on either of the BA courses. Um, so it would be, it would most probably work over a two week period. Um, so in all, 70 hours work experience with a relevant employer. Mm -hmm. All our undergrad degrees now at the university uh, have this embedded employability model in yeah. them. So, so it makes the graduates mm. more employable and yeah. such a, a yeah. on graduation. So, so a huge amount of work experience yeah. is available. On yeah. the, on well, the as a university, we're actually renowned for our partnerships with major employers, mm. and 94% um, of our um, students are either in employment or um, further education within six months of graduation. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, oh, really, a very good uh, employability Yeah, we're very yeah, yeah. committed to employability. Yeah, yeah. And accounting is a profession where uh, it seems to be ongoing and there plenty of work yeah. opportunities uh, yeah, available. So, mm. uh, and many different options because you yeah. don't just need to, um, or you don't just have to go into the accountancy profession. No. You can go into business management, mm. you know, with the skills that, we, that you will learn when you're here. Quite a global uh, qualification. You know, yeah, you can go anywhere in the world. Yeah, so exactly, because uh, our degree is closely linked to the uh, ACCA by our Charter Council mm -hmm. body, and the ACCA is the biggest accountancy uh, yeah. body in the world. So, uh, uh, global qualification. So, uh, so plenty of career opportunities and yeah, such uh, yeah. in accounting. So, uh, our students, as I said, ninety-four percent of them are in employment after studying them within six months of graduation. Yeah. So, that says something about uh, yeah. the. Uh, the profession and the and the, and the qualifications. So, yeah. Have um, um, any more questions? Um, more at the moment. Oh. And, uh, so, uh, uh, but I think we've got a question coming. Actually, um, 
what facilities um, uh, or what facilities are covered in terms of library facilities? That's one of the questions that's come in. Well, well the library uh, now we, is probably we spent was it three or four million there not so long ago refurbishing yeah. the library and. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's not not just a library for books now. Students actually meet there and actually yeah. uh, work in groups as such. Yeah. There, are, there are rooms there, and uh, each uh, degree also has a dedicated librarian. That, uh, so if you need access mm. to uh, to access books, mm. and a lot of the books now are actually e-books in the mm. library where they've been uh, scanned mm. in, so journals, books, etc. So you don't have to yeah. go in the library to to get a book these days. You as long as you've got a computer, you can uh, you can access it and. Uh, the library during term time anyway is, is open 24 7 mm. yeah, it doesn't yeah. shut so uh, yeah. and um, there's a lot of social spaces in the library as well yeah. and yeah. and doctors around the university um, which really are designed to allow mm. students to mm. you know uh, relax in between sessions mm. get mm. to know people or chat with your friends mm. or just to catch up on personal stuff because I think we have a lot of ports where you can plug your laptop mm. in or whatever mm. so um a lot of social spaces and we also on the social side um in addition to the students union we have a number of cafes situated here on mm. um Trafora's campus and obviously all the other campuses too mm. and we've got quite a nice restaurant here as well haven't we? that's right yeah. <laughs> there another question in now from a student who's asking about the msc forensic Audit in the county and you've seen it's an extensive uh, uh, course, sorry, does it allow students to have part time jobs? The majority mm -hmm. of students now take part time jobs, yeah. and um, so it, it is quite an uh, intensive course in the sense that you're in roughly being taught 12 14 hours a week. But what we tend to say is every hour you're in class is normally an hour then outside mm -hmm. the classroom mm -hmm. with uh, doing some research, preparing for assignments, exams, etc. So um, so what we tend to do is get the students in roughly about two or three days a week, so there would be two days free, mm. uh, where that would allow you then to take a part-time job. Uh, and there's no weekend teaching as such, so, so yeah, part-time yeah. jobs are, uh, are available. Um, as far as finding a part-time job, the onus then will be on the student rather yeah. than, uh, than the university, but uh, many of our students uh, now take, yeah, do take part-time uh, jobs, so, uh, as I said, so, so even though uh, you're only in class, say, 12, 14 hours a week. You, you'd probably be doing double that then as such uh, with the, the research and studying you have to do outside. So, so roughly about 30 hours a week of work then, uh, mm. is expected, but that would obviously give you opportunity then to, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, to find a, a part-time job. And uh, uh, quite a lot of, I would assume, uh, in, employers in the area will actually take on students yeah, mm. on a part-time basis. The majority of our students now team tend to get uh, part-time jobs, I said, whether they be uh, Working one or two days a week, or mm. evening work, or, mm. or, or weekends, but mm. uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's not not difficult at all to uh, to find part time. Mm. Or, it depends what you want to do, I suppose. But uh, yeah, there are plenty of uh, of part time jobs. Mm. So uh, and uh, another question we've got here is about teaching hours per week. Well, well I mentioned there that uh, on the uh, MSCs. It's probably 12, 14 hours a week on average you're in an uh, undergrad degree because you do six modules. Some of the modules you could be in for two hours a week, some could be three if it's mm. a lecture. So, uh, so it could be anything from about 12 to about 16 hours mm. a week, then, you know, as I said. But like one hour in the classroom should be another hour outside the classroom, then you mean background reading, mm. research, mm. preparing for assignments, exams. So, mm. so you need to look at it as even though you're in university, say three, four days a week. Uh, 15, 16 hours, you know, you need to be thinking about doing yeah. about 30 hours then outside the university. Uh, with the, uh, but mm -hmm. again, that will give you opportunities, as I said, then to, uh, to do any um, mm -hmm. part-time jobs if, if, if you wished. Yeah. So, uh, um, just looking at what, what comes some questions here. Uh, you answered about work experience. Employer and career prospects after graduation. You mentioned that earlier, yeah, and mm. we did, as I said, that uh, we've we, got yeah, yeah. careers and employability um, center. You, yeah. yeah. So they help uh, students in obtaining placements, um, in writing CVs, interview techniques, mm. um, and connecting employers to students as well. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll they hold a lot of. Um, throughout the year, fairs, so careers and employability fairs, volunteering mm. fairs, and mm. basically what happens is um, a lot of the 
uh, employers or major employers come in and they set up stands, so wherever the exhibition is, and um, students go along and it gives them the opportunity to talk to um, really, you know, relative, uh, not relative, potential employers, potential employers yeah. um, about, you know, what skills are they looking for, you know, when, what jobs may be available in the future, all that sort of thing. Well, we just had one recently in November in, um, in County Hall in Cardiff where we had um, a finance conference. It was actually set up by our oh, MSc yeah. students and uh, we had finance firms then predominantly come in. Yeah. There were several accounting yeah. firms there where students then wandered around and give their CVs and talked about career yeah. opportunities and uh, uh, the, the actually employers then were saying then about the potential jobs available mm -hmm. not just in uh, Cardiff or, or Wales but mm -hmm. in the UK or, yeah. or, or globally and uh, there's another one I believe going on in February next year mm -hmm. um, um, so there is a lot of contact with the uh, companies employers yeah. who actually come to the university uh, set up stands and, and, and say basically what they're looking for in graduates, yeah. uh, postgraduate yeah. students, uh, what career opportunities are available uh, and, and, and job prospects yeah. Uh, yeah. in such and So the university has very strong links uh, with employers, yeah. Yeah, uh, both within the regions uh, in which where the university is located but, but also in the UK. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, I think Um, what export support would you expect from your tutors? Uh, so, well, as far as the tutors are concerned, we, we have um, an open door policy at the University of South Wales. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that if staff aren't teaching, you don't need to make an appointment to yeah. see staff. You can just knock their door, and uh, if they're available, as I said, if they're not in classroom teaching, uh, they'll make time to actually see you. We do also adopt office hours where yeah. each member of staff uh, would give up two hours every week. Where they just sit in their offices and students can come in and see them yeah. and, uh, and discuss anything about the course, the assessment, uh, or, or if they're struggling with anything. And if, if staff can't guide them, if it's, if it's not academic yeah. related, we can actually send you to the right uh, support yeah. functions and uh, yeah. many support functions in the university uh, as such. So, so you yeah, know, it's, it's a, it's a we have a very good relationship and rapport then with students. Yeah, uh, hence, as I said, we were voted uh, actually eighth row ranked by the students in mm. the Uni Students' Choice Award. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of that came down to the, the, the pastoral and yeah. care support that we did yeah. as well as the, the, the teaching. So, yeah, uh, so, yeah if, you, if you come on to one of the courses, um, you'll have a course leader, um, you'll have all the, all the lecturers that teach on your course, um, have open door policies, and then we have office hours where you can. Um, be mm. assured that we'd actually be in our office. Um, we also vote in a course representative, so that would be a student, um, mm. a, a, a member of the cohort, student member of the cohort, who would represent um, all the students on that course. So um, yeah, we, we do, do a lot of work to try and build up good communication um, with all of our students and uh, make sure that everything's going right really and a very uh, plus point as far as our undergrad uh, accounting degrees are concerned uh, in the uk we have something called the national uh, student survey oh, which yeah. uh, comes out around about january february every year where final year students actually uh, there's 24 questions that, yeah. uh, they answer basically how the university uh, is how the staff uh, assessment etc uh, in the last Decade accounting has had always had higher than ninety percent student yeah. satisfaction. Uh, last uh, year we had a hundred percent student satisfaction. So uh, uh, this year it was ninety three percent. So uh, yeah. you know, we're obviously doing something well, and yeah. that, uh, those students are very happy and satisfied. Yeah. Uh, the majority of them, ninety percent plus, then with the uh, yeah with the uh, with the degrees etc. And uh, that's yeah. not just the teaching; that's everything around the degree, the yeah. support, the yeah. assessment. Yeah. Uh, the teaching, the facilities uh, available on yeah. campus, so, uh, yeah. uh, which is, uh, you know, we're very proud of that uh, achievement. Uh, yeah. In the last decade, we've never had lower than 90% uh, yeah. uh, student satisfaction yeah. from, the, from the National Student Survey. And that's the students uh, voting yeah. now, uh, yeah. which are uh, not external parties. So, yeah. yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it is a plus. Um, yeah. If you're um, an international student as well, um, we do have a dedicated international office as well, which um, you can, if you do have any queries um, specifically uh, imme and immediately, you can actually email them. We'll be posting up the email address at the end of the session. 
um, but they were they are there really to support you um, in well in your application and um, afterwards. So if you decide to come and study with us, um, we also have an advice zone which is uh, general to all students. And you know they will be able to help you in many different areas. For example, um, if you have a, a problem in terms of you know obtaining a, a, um, a grant or something like that, many many worries, um, you can go to the advice zone and they'll help and support. Um, there's also they the run a well-being service as well. So if you um, are struggling in any way with the studies, then you can go to the advice zone and be directed to the right department where they will be able to support and give you advice. Uh, another question has come through here is about uh, an overview of the teaching structured in February. <coughs> Excuse me, well, this, the teaching for February 2017, um, students actually come here on the 6th of February mm. uh, and we have an induction week that week yeah. as such, then where, where you basically be enrolled, you'll be talked about the course, how you're going to um, be taught, structured, assessed, etc. You meet the staff. We are actually run one or two visits uh, off campus to yeah. show you the local uh, community. Where did you go last year? We took them to a place called Big Pit, so oh. which is a, a, it's a museum, but it's actually a, a coal mine. It used to be a working coal mine, so uh, we took the students underground in Big Pit. So uh, it's actually snowing up there now when we took them really? last February, yeah. so uh, <laughs> which uh, was quite cold. And, uh, and uh, uh, some of the students uh, were from. Um, Quite warm countries then, so uh, yeah. coming up a place called Blind Avenue it was, was, a, was an experience. And uh, but then the teaching actually starts uh, on on the thirteenth of February um, uh, for, for the February starters, and we teach one about from February uh, until the end of June, July, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the students will come back then uh, from September uh, and uh, at postgrad level anyway, and uh, and be taught right up until the end of December, stroke January, and then they would start their dissertations. Yeah. Um, to uh, to be completed by uh, April then uh, 2018, but the, the finance investment top up which uh, Louise runs is slightly different because uh, is it right they come in February and they uh, to July and they, they, they finish yeah, there? They're, they're his, well teaching teaching ends around about the end of June depending on the timetable, mm. um, but the students would have to sit uh, some exams um, in August. So really, the teaching and the exam period doesn't start uh, finish until the end of August. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you come in the February, <coughs> and then they would graduate in December. Then. Yes. Yeah. yeah they graduate so, in December. Because actually, today graduation is taking yeah. place today. In the last mm -hmm. three days, we've had uh, students mm -hmm. graduating, mm -hmm. and they are a mixture of postgraduate students mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah. and our undergrad students. We actually stream our graduations live, don't we? And they're available. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right, Julian? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you can actually, um, if, if you look on, on the website, you can actually view mm. the graduations that have happened in the last two days yeah. to give you an idea about what it's like to graduate here. Right. Uh, there's a question here. Unfortunately, I, I can't answer it, but I can I can get some uh, some advice back to you later. There's, there's yeah. a, a student asking you uh, for the qualifying criteria for a South African student taking their national senior certificate. I'm not sure what the national senior certificate no. is, so uh, so we can find out um, yeah. what that is and, uh, and, and yes, get back to you. Uh, if you supply us an email address, then uh, um, with that. Uh, so uh, I've got to confess, I've never heard of uh, the national senior certificate yeah. in South Africa, but uh, you know, we can Or if you apply to our uh, international admissions office, uh, and tell us exactly um, mm. what you've studied in on that, and uh, mm. we can have yeah. a look then to see if that's compatible uh, yeah. uh, with, with the UK system over here. So, so apologies for not being able to uh, uh, to answer that. So, um, uh, as I said, uh, what, what we tend to do because uh, qualifications are slightly different than uh, from one country to another, we we have to have a look at what you've studied. Mm. And uh, how does it fit in then with, uh, yeah. with, with, with what we uh, teach and, and assess you? So, uh, 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 so yes, yes, we hopefully get back to you uh, with that. Um, another question here is saying how much time is required to prepare for the for classes? 
<coughs> what we tend to do, we, we, we tend to give students uh, homework as such. So, uh, so we would do practical examples mm -hmm. in class where we work through them with you, and then we give you some to try on your own or working groups. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what we tend to do then is actually give students uh, homework to do. So say, right, by next week then, if uh, if you can finish off this problem or try this additional problem. Uh, we, we have something called Blackboard uh, in the university, uh, um, which we post uh, all our teaching material uh, questions and answers on there. So uh, it's part of the internet site. So as a student yeah. of the university, uh, you can log on to Blackboard. Uh, all the teaching material is available, uh, whether it be Excel, PowerPoint, Google yeah. Documents, etc. Uh, so the whole syllabus of what we're going to teach uh, over the next uh, year then is available there. As I said, with the relevant questions, relevant uh, workshop um, material. Uh, and there's also something called Panopto, uh, where um, not all, but a lot now of university yeah. staff will actually record their, their yeah. classes. All lectures are recorded. Uh, not not the case of workshops or tutorials, but mm. a lot of lecturers do record workshops and tutorials. So if for uh, whatever reason you missed a, yeah. a lecture, workshop, etc., mm. uh, there's a, a voice recording on mm. Blackboard. Uh, yeah. We don't actually video record in the moment. Uh, mm. it, it's just voice recorded, yeah. and uh, uh, which is good also now because sometimes in a lecture you can miss what the, yeah. uh, the lecturer was saying. So yeah. you could. Good log on to Blackboard, yeah, listen yeah. to Panopto as well, right? Yeah, a lot of students that. find it handy to go over the lectures just before exam time as well, yes. so they can, you know, uh, use them as an aid memoir and, um, yeah, really handy. Uh, and as far as uh, another question is about student support then from tutors, as I said, we, we, we mentioned earlier we open, mm -hmm. uh, operate sorry, an open door policy, but uh, but if, if you were stuck on anything we've done in class, mm. either email us. If we can't answer it on email, you come and see us, make yeah. an appointment, or you know, uh, or come and see us with our, um, our classroom uh, contact hours, etc. Yeah. And uh, you know, we, uh, we we will work through it uh, mm. through it with you. And uh, so uh, you're not on your own as such. There's a yeah. of support uh, oh, uh, available and. Uh, uh, and, and not just that, there's um, student support, not so much in the discipline, but uh, we, we have a, a centre here such now which will actually read over your assignments yeah. and, and proofread your grammar and, and, and yeah, correct so your study, grammar. Yeah, so study skills. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then, yeah, that could be anything from writing, <coughs> maths, IT support, yeah. um, and they hold drop-in sessions. Um, or you could book a one-to-one -one appointment if you mm. if you something you really wanted to. Um, you know, find out about. Um, again, that's all available to all students. Yeah. yeah. So they well, they wouldn't answer an assignment specific, say, no. accounting related discipline, but they would no. show you how to structure an assignment yeah. properly, yeah. grammatically, you know. Yeah. Uh, so some students have never written a report. No, example. no, no, exactly. And um, it can be simple, something simple like that if they get mm. stuck on. Um, but we do have a department, uh, the study skills, like I said. Where you can go and and just learn basics, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and CV, um, say, they'll show you the structure of CV and yeah. uh, you know covering letters, say for mm. a job, etc. Yeah. So there's there, there yeah. plenty of uh, support available yeah. and, uh, outside the classroom. So and, uh, as I said, the uh, the university is actually open from nine in the morning to nine at night, Monday to Friday. <laughs> That's not to say all the staff are here at that time, but, yeah. but you know, there's always yeah. someone around, someone around oh, yeah. if you were. Uh, yeah. And if you make an appointment with a member of staff, uh, they, they, they'll definitely be there to see you, or, or for whatever reason they weren't in, someone else would, uh, yeah. Yeah, would, would see you. So, so plenty of support, you're not on your own, and such. Mm. And, uh, yeah. Have and, we got another question? Mm. Uh, Is that one coming in now? No, no, that is, Julian, I think, has been typing something up, so it's... Uh, so, Relating to the South African student, uh, oh, I see. The, okay. uh, uh, the certificate. So, uh, um, We've covered quite a lot today. Is there anything that we perhaps haven't covered? Um, so, uh, I think, uh, you know, at this point, um, we've probably got quite a few applica applications for all of the courses. Mm. Um, and so what we would like to stress is that if you do have any questions and you may not have posted them today, mm. um, then please do get in touch with us and um, you know, we, can, we can answer your questions over email. 
Yeah, there's and quite a lot of information on our website. So if you yeah, click on our website, uh, yeah. you know, US there's a lot of information on our company courses. The application we're applying on there is quite straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. It actually tells you about the modules that you will study yeah. uh, and the assessments uh, on the relative mm. degrees or postgraduate degrees. And uh, you're looking at the fees are on there. So, yeah. uh, uh, and there's a uh, contact uh, information on there where you can email people or yeah. actually phone the university uh, if, yeah. if, if you need any uh, more information. Uh, got a question coming here now. Uh, unsure whether to apply for a sandwich course, what are the benefits? Will I be able to change my mind once I've arrived? So uh, you don't have to make up your mind straight away to do a four year sandwich. Mm. You can just start on a three year mm. degree. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what we would say is around about the middle of year two, we would yeah. then say, right, uh, do you want to go out then uh, on a sandwich degree? So, so basically, you've got a year and a half to yeah. make up, uh, yeah. uh, make up your mind. You don't, you don't say from outset, yes, I'm going to go on a sandwich. And uh, there are major benefits, I believe, for going on a sandwich degree that uh, the work experience, mm -hmm. etc. It counts towards one year of your three years practical experience mm -hmm. you need if you want to want to be a. Uh, an accountant and uh, you know good links then with, with that employer mm. if you do a good job uh, there's a high probability that uh, they could take you on on graduation we have had some students that done so well on placement that uh, the employer has actually funded they funded you on a degree so oh, really? uh, that, mm. uh, we had one or two students in, in general electrics uh, went to for GE aviation and uh, they did so well doing that placement year that, that mm. she was actually uh, Actually funded the uh, their fees then in the final year. Mm. So uh, uh, and another benefit, obviously, you get paid uh, yeah. when you're on placement. Uh, roughly, I would say about sixteen, mm. seventeen thousand pound mm. a year. Students tend to earn. Uh, so uh, yeah. so we do tend to encourage students uh, to go on placement. So uh, uh, obviously, uh, um, if everyone wanted to go on placement, there, there wouldn't be enough opportunities there. So uh, so we do say do as best as you can then in the first and yeah, second year yeah. so you know, make your CV uh, look, look very good um, because uh, you could be competing against other people uh, uh, for, for the uh, for the sandwich uh, uh, places available so uh, thank you, Kat. I think that's uh, the last question we had yes I think um, we've covered as I said, yeah. So, 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 uh, hopefully, we've given you a flavour yeah. and overview now of what uh, what's available at the university from an accounting uh, undergrad postgraduate uh, perspective. As I said, uh, if you've got any more questions, you know, j just email them in, and, mm. and a member of staff will get back to you. Or, uh, as I said, look on our um, web page, and there's a lot of, uh, of information mm. on there. So, uh, but, uh, thank you for your questions. Yeah.